Have the tables finally turned? Are some Asian guys dissing Asian women in pursuit of blonde women? We'll explain here. Yeah, this went really viral on TikTok. Let's run the clip. What's your name? Danny. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, like a 1 or a 2. She's just not my type. Then what's your type? It's no bunnies. Like white mm, girls. I mean, she has blonde hair. <laughs> she has nice eyes. Who's your favorite female celebrity? I'm gonna go Margot Robbie. Because? She's Margot Robbie, bro. What's your name? Ashley. What would you rate this guy on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, I would give him a... 9.9. .9. I feel like his eyebrows are a little bushy. I like his hair. I really like the perm and his jawline is really nice. And what would make him a 10? If he didn't have that air tag. Who's your favorite male celebrity? I like Amboya because he's hot. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? 8. Because I look better in blonde than my original hair color. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Danny. I'm nice Ashley. Nice to, nice to meet you. Did the rating change after meeting in person? Yeah. Seven. The perm isn't as popping right now in person. I think mine went up a little. Like a three. <laughs> She looks a little prettier in person. Would you guys exchange numbers? Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, I have no idea who these people are. They might be saying things just to get views. I don't know. But if I ever caught my kid or my friend saying this shit, I would drop them immediately. The reason why I'm so triggered is because this reminds me of the Asian guys who think they deserve a fucking medal for bagging a white girl. And they usually hate Asian women. Boom! I mean, you see it. The original clip is from the University of Michigan. This guy's ranking Asian girls super low. He gives her a one or a two. He's like, dude, I like snow bunnies like Margot Robbie. That's really like my vibe. And of course, hello, I'm Sharon. She got a fiery response saying that this is something that she's been noticing in the Asian community. And who even knows if the original TikTok video was fake or not, but clearly it struck a chord in the community to get shared this many times. Well, to that young man at UMish, good luck getting with the Margot Robbie, all right? I don't think you're very close to it. But anyways, guys, uh, this is a new phenomenon, if you will, uh, that I have noticed in person. Now, there are Asian guys out there that are choosing not to date Asian women when they can, right? And they relate to other and groups. It, and it's usually, it's, would you say it's dudes with a lot of optionality? Usually it's like, you know, good looking guys, possibly six feet. They got some tattoos, got appeal to the outside world, right? Not just, uh, you know, honestly, they're not like the engineer guys. Sorry, that's, that's not the main type I'm thinking about. But I guess a couple questions come to mind is like, are these Asian guys doing this and turning down Asian women out of self-hate? Okay, is it out of pettiness to get back at Asian women who have always like who are notoriously known, I guess, for dating non-Asian guys at a high percentage or or is it just like, I don't know, I guess maybe it just goes to show you that culture is different and maybe we should empathize more with the Asian girls who didn't like to date Asian guys. You know what I mean? I don't know. A lot of questions here. Yeah. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications and check out our uh, sponsor for today's smilelastsauce.com from Sichuan to Sicily. Interestingly enough, Andrew, I was at Sam Wu Jung the other day and uh, there was an Asian girl at the table next to me who was very like Bohemian Williamsburg looking and she was talking about how she was trying to date this Korean tatted up producer DJ in Bushwick, but he only dates white girls or oh. she was like accusing of uh, him of that because she felt he was like disengaged with her over text messages and she was very frustrated at it so it goes to show you there might be some truth to this dynamic happening at least in some regards right yeah so anyway let's just get into the comments section andrew this girl said this gave me the ick mm. and somebody said bro i seen so many asian girls do this with white guys i'm actually kind of surprised to see an asian guy say this and somebody <laughs> said i don't know why people get mad asian girls got preferences for white guys and nobody cares but when it's an asian dude all of a sudden he's a self-hating villain huh well mm. how you guys like it now that the tables have turned this speaks to your first point andrew are some asian guys doing it to get back at asian women uh, I don't know if it's out of pettiness, man. I, I really don't think so. I think that it, it's somewhat of a, I think it's a little bit more cultural and just like a looks preference. I think, first of all, like, and, and my question is like, when Asian guys are turning down Asian women, are they being disrespectful? Because I think that everybody has preferences. Asian women can date who they want. Asian men can date who they want. But there's also a point where it's like, hey, you do not have to talk down on your counterpart, right? right? And and I think a lot of the pain from Asian men about Asian women were that, it's not that Asian women, women only turned in, down Asian guys, but it was that oftentimes they were caught publicly denouncing Asian men and talking down on Asian men. And that was the kind of the, the, 
the the oh, knife right, in our heart. Right, you're saying the mortifying type of like reasoning, like emotion. Oh, they they like look the, like my ooh, brother, or like the no, disgusting. I would right. never date an Asian guy. Oh, they're so not good. It's like. Hey, you can have a preference. You know, everybody can, you know, that was what I'm saying is painful. So I guess what I'm asking are these Asian guys who are turning down Asian women doing the same thing, which I am curious about. Somebody said me and all my tall Asian guy friends over six feet are all choosing white girls. Yeah. Let people love whoever they want. Ha ha. This is from a six foot tall Asian guy. Plus, I mean, I think the height helps a lot, you know? Yeah. Um, I would say somebody said, actually, this dynamic has been hella rampant within the South Asian community for quite some time now, but it is new in the East and Southeast Asian community. Uh, that That's an interesting. interesting point, right? I have always seen a decent amount of, and they're usually slightly taller or I guess Punjabi type Indian guys date white girls. Kind of Arab looking, yeah. Yeah, and as much as I've seen some Indian girls date white guys too, so I feel like the, on their side, maybe they've been having this 50-50 mix more, or it's seemingly 50-50. Yo, I had a friend named Amit growing up, and he would only date blonde women. Right. Like, he was like like 10 out of 10 about it. Like he right. was taking it real serious. Um, somebody said, this is from a Latin woman. I believe this is from a Latin woman. If you made me guess, she's probably really into Korean chads or Asian chads in general. She says, what's with non-white guys' obsession with white women? They're all losing their damn minds now over snow bunnies. White beauty standards colonize the world. Yeah, and I think, David, does this, does Asian guys doing this to Asian women, does it kind of almost build empathy for the Asian women who always want to date white guys. You know how like- You're saying now that Asian guys are doing the same thing because they can now shows that all Asians wanted to do it this whole time, but only one gender had the ability to do it. Yeah. Well, th this is actually more point. Yeah, this, I think that this is what this Latin girl is pointing at. And it may be a little bit self-serving because she might like really high value Asian guys herself. But she's, I guess, correctly pointing out that Asians seem to like worship- hierarchy right just in general right and anglo-saxons were at the top yeah. of the global hierarchy for the past 300 years and that may be just like a, a macro factor that uh impacts both genders yeah. right yeah i mean let's just say all asian people in america in the west they were always attracted to good looking blonde people but only the women the asian women had the ability or the choice or the option to date them versus now some asian men have the option and then they're taking it so i guess the question is david yeah, and she is pointing that out. Like, why do Asians particularly... Actually, I would say almost all Asians, including Southeast Asians and South Asians, why do they all like white people? But it might be a global thing, too. Like, you, I don't think you can go anywhere on Earth where a prime Margot Robbie is looked down on. Oh, no, all. I think like, she yeah. steps foot in Africa, South America, <laughs> Scandinavia. I think Margot Robbie could step foot in anywhere in Asia, and people are like, ooh. Interestingly enough... Uh, I've like been, I stood next to Margot Robbie one time in LA and it wasn't, I mean, she was like pretty good looking, but it wasn't like, uh, how, I, I don't know. Maybe there's something about the way she photographs or something like that. Ah, you're not buying into the white beauty standards of the colonized world, David. Good job. Um, somebody said, uh, when men and women, uh, do All right. So POC women get with white men because of how they're treated. Whereas POC men tend to fetishize their relationship that's the difference when like women do it versus men do it. I don't know if that's true. I, I think that's a very that's a very sweeping like you know I like I like myself some sweeping statements, but that's like a sweeping statement. I know what they're saying though because the positioning of a man and the power dynamics of being a man or a woman is so different. I, but it just you know TikTok comments is now POC the place to get, get in the nuance. So, but but they're saying that, that 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 Asian woman gets with a white man because they're not treated well by Asians. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't, I don't know, know, man. I don't. I mean. I'm sure it's case by case. Man. Yeah, I'm sure agree. this person wishes they could elaborate more. But, you know, like we said, it's TikTok. It's not Quora, guys. Somebody said it's the opposite. Most guys don't like white girls. They are into Latinas and Asians. Okay, so this is an interesting point that's like almost like just a little bit of a side discussion. But it is true that people like online, if I just base off Instagram comments, they like thick Latinas and petite Asian women. Yes, that is what is probably the most desired on the internet of the internet crowd. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that they, the people still value in Margot Robbie's. It's just that I think that they're like- uh, It's like blase to talk about her. I don't know. I just think that maybe it's not a large portion of white women look like Margot Robbie. Whereas you could find maybe a larger portion of Latinas are thick Latinas and a larger proportion of Asian women are petite Asian women. 
Possibly. Maybe. I'm Possibly. just throwing saying Possibly. that. Possibly. Um, somebody said snow bunnies are white women that fetishize black men. They are not interested in you, Danny. Referring to the original guy at you, Mish. Basically saying, yeah, Danny, you like Margot Robbie's, but do the Margot Robbie's at like Delta, 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 you, Mish, like you? Mm. What do you think? No. Probably not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, maybe the redheaded girl in Delta. You're talking about like the top level white women, like an Amber Heard at her peak, or like, I don't even know who's the hottest white woman. I don't know, like a Kendall Jenner. You know what I mean? Somebody said, snow buddies mean they are attracted to black men. Use African American vernacular terms right. I guess that is true because uh, the term snow bunnies typically referred, came from the black world about blonde girls who like black guys, which is a pretty. I guess common thing as well. Not obviously not all, but yeah. Somebody said, I never understood men of color from all groups who degrade their beautiful women to praise a white woman who would most likely never look their way. That's a good statement. But the also same could be flipped on any Asian woman who ever dissed Asian guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, part of me thinks that they originally created the initial TikTok almost as a troll just to provide some opposing material. Yeah, because how's that guy gonna, that dude, that Asian guy, I mean, he's like, you know, a decent looking Asian kid in college, but like to be saying that she's a one or a two is crazy. There's no way that girl's a one or two. Well, I did some research. Apparently they're like actually friends and they're like low key trolling each other to go viral. Anyways, but yeah, I mean, going off of like, hello, I'm Sharon. You know, she's kind of saying that she had experiences from back in the day of like how, like, you know, Asian dudes, they have white worship. And I guess a lot of people have white worship. To be honest, that's that's one of the issues here. They won, they, they won the last 300 years. It's pretty common. They set the hierarchy. Um, I guess. Um, somebody said there was some debate over whether the Asian girl he gave a one or a two was a six, seven, or eight. Of course, Andrew, that, that's just a classic TikTok, TikTok debate. Like, how hot is, you know, this girl or not? Yes or no? Um, somebody was saying, I've met way too many guys like that. Uh, I didn't know it was that common. Do you think that some girls, some Asian girls only like these top level, like almost quasi whitewashed Asian guys that like white women? So the type of Asian guy that these Asian girls want to boo up are the type that would not like them back. And they feel frustrated by that. Yeah, that's the same dynamic with Asian guys who like whitewashed girls because you're an Americanized Asian guy and you actually want an Asian girl who kind of acts like a white girl. But a lot of those girls are often right. don't end right. up with Asian right. guys. It's a little bit like saying my favorite type of Asian woman, Asian American woman is the type that categorically does not like me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really funny. And I think that that ultimately gets into our like last question, Andrew, where you were saying, does it build empathy? The truth is, I'll say this. This is my major takeaway, man. Uh, after going on a few dates or having dated some non-Asian women, it is kind of, it is different. You're saying non-Asian people's culture is different. Yeah, non-Asian people's about, like, culture is different. Yeah, you're talking about Caribbean and, and white girls primarily, right. like Dominic, Latinas, like yeah. A, the Dominican girl that was like a... And I'm saying that like... It is different. Like, everything's different. Like, the conversations are different. The music you're going to listen to is different. Yeah. The, the venues you go to but that, but that's is different. You, like, I was going to, like, Jamaican No, that doesn't or, mean you prefer the Dominican girl over Asian, but you can see that there is a difference that if you were much more into even that culture or how that culture was that you would just date that type of woman more. Yeah. So, so I guess so it that's does. an explanation. That is a legit explanation for you. And, and maybe a lot of Asian women... Throughout history, not all of them. Some of them have just been very, very negative. But a lot of them would just give you a legit answer, right? Yeah, yeah. So I do think that, like, as Asian guys go on more dates or continue to date non-Asian women, I don't know. I guess will it will it build more empathy? Yes or no? Or is it is it different? Because obviously, the guy doing I don't know the power dynamics. You can you can yeah. you can layer it or I, you could take that layer off just like Photoshop. I think I would wrap it up and say generally, I think when you feel like you have more options and you can date other women of other cultures, you will start to realize what a lot of Asian women were saying. It doesn't make it right, and it doesn't mean that they should have been disrespecting Asian men or anything like that, but I guess it just gives you a little bit of perspective. You know, when you go on a date and you're like, if you go on a date with a white, like if I went I went out with some white girls and I was like, yeah, like I could just see the roles flipped. And I'm an Asian girl and she's a white guy. Like I could also, in, I could see why an Asian girl would also enjoy this. Yeah, but you didn't enjoy it as much as Asian women. I didn't enjoy it as much, okay? But, you know, I'm just saying, I mean, like if I'm getting, if I got Margot Robbie, I don't know. I might never date another Asian girl in my life, bro. Yeah, if you get a string of Margot yeah, Robbie. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So um, anyways, guys, interesting discussion. <laughs> 
Um, but I think ultimately date who you want. Just don't be disrespectful to Asian men and Asian women. Holy shit. How easy is that? How simple is that guys? Yeah, and then now there's how the, simple is it's that? crazy now with the online trolling back and forth. And then like, everybody's like talking about Asian men and Asian women, but they're only referring to the super hot Asian girls and the Asian girls that are talking about Asian men are only talking about the uh, super hot, like six feet ones with the black work tattoos. And like, who knows, man, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. We encourage the debate. I think there's valid points on all sides until next time. We're going to hop out boys. We out. Peace. Peace.